just like this beer. It's got a good aftertaste. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for Shadow, the next episode in my reviews of the first season of Supernatural. Though this wasn't a paid thing, I just really like this Aloha beer brand. And I thought that this episode, Shadow in particular, describes this beer. This beer has like all these different flavors and whatnot. It's got all these different fruits and whatnot and very go through all these different flavors. And the very end is the satisfying taste part. All of it's satisfying, but I'm meaning like the end is like, ah, it's like a nice little journey. That's what I feel Shadow is. This is a big major episode. Eric Kripke he wrote it and also this is the first time that the brothers full-on physically meet their father again I liked how this episode works I like how it starts I like its rising action I like how it feigns ending the twist that puts in as well as its ending and the use of lighting the lighting in this episode is so good the use of shadows obviously with the shadow demons but also the colors that are used to exaggerate the streets the characters all that very good dop on this episode for sure the one thing that i've always found very odd about this episode is i always feel that shadow is the actual mid-season finale of this show. Think about how it works, how the entire episode kind of figures into the narrative. Obviously there hasn't been that many narrative episodes in this season so far, so to see such a heavy, heavy narrative-based episode and have an ending like it does with the brothers finally meeting their father and then having to go separate ways again only for it to be followed up by another regular episode i just always have seen this is the real mid-season finale not the mental house episode but aside from that i did like this episode a lot i love the return of meg i like the connection between her and sam and how that turns and she's finally revealed we as the audience know this bitch is evil but these guys have to figure it out for themselves so it's kind of like a god damn it man get out of there sort of situation also i really liked how dean and sam opened up to each other how dean is basically saying that how he feels like he's not really his full self without his brother he has this almost childlike hope that they can become a family again even though their definition of a family wasn't really a true family in the first place so to see the conflicting sides the animosity between the two and then finally when they meet their father that is a great great scene because Dean is good he's already hugging his dad but there's obviously that tension between Sam and John however when John asks certain questions that is reminiscent of their childhood they both answer yes sir whether it's both together or individually you feel that meant that training that survival mentality is embedded into these boys because of what their father has done and even Sam and John do share a hug they do try to start making amends but then obviously the shadow demons come back which is a great twist because you thought the shadow demons were gone when they threw meg out the window and that happens because of the supposed medallion that she has around her neck even though the whole crypt the, the sanctuary thing was destroyed the table worship thing was destroyed so I don't know why they drag her out the window, but then they're listening to her the next. I think that might be explained later on in the show. I don't remember if the shadow things come back. Again, I'm reliving the first season. I haven't rewatched the first season in a long time, but it's been a very enjoyable ride so far. And definitely now that we are finally moving on to disc four five of season one that means we have six episodes left so as for the episode i love the cinematography i like the lighting i like the brothers i love their dynamic and i like the twist the little scares the use of the demon creatures and the episode in general i really do enjoy this episode so i'm gonna give shadow a six out of seven now i'm gonna read some of your guys's thoughts about the episode itself so we got our comments here we don't have that many so i'll go through this real quick megan b here the first one with in the episode shadow i love the scene where they reunite with their dad yes that's a great scene uh, it's a very good scene in this uh, episode and then we got the next one here from sasuku arrow i personally feel you're giving low of a score to the last two episodes the lack of story complaint is taking away too many points on the last two episodes which are six out of seven episodes w that have nothing wrong with them anyway that is my opinion yes that is your opinion and as i said in the last two episodes 
They're not bad episodes, but however, Nightmare has not aged well. There's a few aspects of that that just don't really stand up, and the same for the Benders. They're just the events that have happened after to the brothers just doesn't stand up as well. The enjoyability of the episodes is not as good as they used to be. I honestly was bored through the two episodes. I was on my phone. I know what happens, but I'm not entertained by it. If these episodes had good rewatchability, that would warrant a higher rating. They're definitely not six out of sevens, though, especially in comparison to Shadow here, which is a really enjoyable episode. And we got the last one here from PL. It says, that girl was great in this episode. I'm imagining it's a little girl in the Benders. I don't remember what happened with Shadow. That was my opinion. I keep forgetting this episode, which is odd because it's such an enjoyable episode and I'm going to try and remember it much better. So thank you to those guys who gave me their comments. It was fun to read them. I want your guys' thoughts and opinions of Hell House, the first ever appearance of Ghost Facers. I forgot they appeared this early in the show. I always thought it was the second season for some reason but yeah they're about to appear in the next episode very interested to see those guys come back considering they haven't been back in the show in a long time and i really thought they would have brought that back but oh well anyways guys thank you for watching this review if you liked it leave a like and if you're interested in more maybe subscribe and if you guys are interested in any other supernatural related reviews i'll have a playlist for that at the end of this video otherwise i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching the video you're probably wondering who i am my name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. <sniffs> By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural. Or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.